Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about seven add-ons that I use in Classic WoW, and I think they're really, really useful. Add-ons that will increase your gold grind, add-ons that will help you keep your items organized, and add-ons that will make you slightly better in both PvP and PvE. So uh, bear with me, I'm going to show you exactly how to install them. Uh, with a, a Twitch app, I'm going to show you how to keep them updated with a click of a button and I'm going to discuss about how to set them up and how to customize them and how to make them to your likings. So without further ado, let's explore. The first add-on I want to talk about, it's called Gather Mate 2. So this is a gathering add-on as the title obviously says and it's an add-on that will show on the map uh, all the spawn points available for rich thorium veins, black lotus, all the expensive herbs, uh, treasure chest, fishing spots, and so on. Now, everyone that does uh, professions on the side, especially gathering professions, must have this add-on, or if you don't do gathering professions, at least you can uh, know the positions of uh, treasure chests and so on. It's gonna increase your gathering income by at least 50%. Now, the way you install it and the best way to install it, and I think I'm going to go over it later on the game, but right now I'm just going to get into it. You go to download the app called Twitch app. Now, what does Twitch app do? It's an add-on where you can watch uh, uh, streamers, follow, and if you're there already, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash frosadamus. Now, you go to mods on the Twitch app, you select the game that you play, World of Warcraft, and here you can see your add-ons, some of mine require update, I can update them at a click of a button, there we go. You don't even have to download it, you don't even have to install it, and you can always, always keep them up to date with ease and no problem. Now, in order to get add-ons, you go to get more add-ons, you type the add-on that you want, in this case it's gather, you press enter, and you can see you can get gather mate 2. You download this, well you just click install here, you don't have to download it. And then what I want you to do, I want you to get GatherMate data for WoW Classic. This is the one, um, it's from WoWhead. Now I, I, I used first the Sphinx one, but the Sphinx one has uh, extra nodes that are non-existent. The WoW Classic WoW, it's uh, more accurate. As soon as you press install and update them both, uh, you will go to escape interface options and you will go to gather mate and you will go to filters now on filters you can select none for example here fishing if you're not interested in fishing just select none if you don't fish you go to herbalism and in order to populate the map not to be too overcrowded just select the node that you need for example i selected black lotus mountain silver sage fire bloom ice cap stream falls ghost mushrooms because I don't want my map to be crowded with uh, herbs that I'm not really interested on. That doesn't mean I'm not going to pick them, I just don't want. And on mining, I only selected rich thorium veins and who's covered thorium veins. But if you farm mithril and iron, you can select them and so on. That keeps your uh, map smooth and clear. Treasure chest, of course. And um, once you do this, you go to import. And here... You can import the gather mate 2 database the one that you installed the one from wowhead that we showed once you import everything will show on the map after you import the map sometimes there will be um duplicate nodes so you will see two of them or in the same spot if that doesn't bother you that's fine you can leave it like that but i would recommend going to maintenance and uh, clicking clean up database what that will do will just uh, remove the duplicate nodes and you will have a perfect database just like we have it right now every nodes possible in the game shown on the map and not only on one map you can go to every map you want uh, let's go for example to, Oj to Ojara as you can see all the mountain silver sage node all the dreamfall and all the potential rich thorium veins we go to let's say um, let's go to a place with uh, black lotus maybe burning steps you see, we have all the Lotus spawns, uh, all the rich thorium potential spawns. Although I think this one uh, might miss some here. That's okay. 
feels like uh, it's incomplete. Let's try. Let, let me try uh, Winter Spring. Oh yeah, beautiful. So Winter Spring has all the potential nodes here, uh, and all the potential black loads. Now, if you don't want to see ice caps on the map, you can remove them because ice caps are really populated on the, the screen. But this is a very useful add-on, and uh, you will benefit a lot from it. Now let's move on to the next add-on. The second add-on I want to talk about is the map, uh, Leatrix map. It's such a nice map. Uh, it has an option to zoom in, especially when you're looking for minerals. It has an option to make it uh, translucent. And the way you enable uh, Leatrix map is by doing slash LTM from uh, Leatrix maps. And you have a lot of options here. Now, um, you can remove the map border. You can scale it. You can uh, remember the zoom level. Zoom, it's really a nice feature, especially when you're looking for a Black Lotus, for example, and it's crowded with the Mountain Silver Sage or something. Uh, you can see the class colored icons on the map from your raid party. Um, set opacity level if you want to make it uh, more translucent. Um, and it's just a very, very useful map. Now, uh, we also have the coordinates here. You can hide Questy if you you're not leveling a character. I'm assuming everyone uses Questy nowadays. And uh, with this map, we're gonna move to our third add-on, which is uh, the sexy map. As you can see, it provides a bit of more details com compared to the to the round map, the default blizzard map. Now, uh, this uh, add-on called Sexy Map has a lot of features. Um, you can make it round, you can make it square, you can scale it, you can... Uh, the reason why I made it like this is to match my UI. And my UI is um, black, well, dark. And I really, really like it, how uh, it turned out with a bag and uh, everything. So um, the name of the add-on is Sexy Map. You go to Escape Interface Options. You go to Sexy Map. And first thing, if you want to make it like mine, you can choose a default preset, which is Simple Square. After you choose Simple Square here, you go to Borders. And you can go to Border Texture, change the color to black. And you can increase it. My, mine size, it's 15. It feels like it's reasonable. And uh, that's how I like to use it. But like I said, the beauty of this map also is that it doesn't uh, keep your minimap cluttered with, uh, for example, the icons. The icons that you have only appear when you hover over it or and stay there where you're in combat. But once uh, you move around, they disappear and look how clean and smooth it looks. I think it's beautiful. Now, uh, one thing you notice, the icon from item rack, for example, will never never disappear because you need to swap your... Uh, you need to swap your um, gear with item rack. So I'm gonna pick this uh, Richtorium vein and then I'm going to move to the next add-on. I just have been farming while I was uh, filming this video for about an hour probably. Maybe less. Wasn't lucky with the Black Lotus pick. People uh, are camping even at early hours in the morning, 5 a.m. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Two maps. Leatrix map with Sexy map and with Gather Mate. This will make your uh, gathering just way better. You will definitely see results compared to playing without the uh, add-ons. That's why uh, most of the good gatherers on the servers use uh, something, these add-ons or something very similar. Now, if you want to scale the minimap, you go back to interface options, sexy map, and you have a scale option here. I usually keep it at 115, but you can scale it as much as you want. If you want, you make your maxi map, <laughs> but I prefer keeping it at 115. It's uh, reasonable for me. You can also move it around and so on. I like to keep it quite in a corner. So now let's move to the next add-on. 
Uh, the third add-on I want to talk about is Bagnon. It's a bag add-on that is good for your bags and for your bank, which makes everything into one, but has a lot of customization available. As you can see, I made both of them look similar. I like my bank to keep it clean and organized as to my best. This is my Alts bank, my Rogues bank. And as you can see, it's really nice. It does keep a bit of the aspect from the classic UI, such as like the bag slots and so on. It has an option to clean, click. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I usually organize them by hand, but you can sort them out by um, uh, pressing a button, organize them by pressing a button. You also have a search item. Let's look for, um, I don't know, Tissel tea. As you can see, all the Tissel tea will appear. Oh, wow, I have a lot of them. But that's okay. So normally when you install Bagon, uh, Bagnon, it's going to look something like uh, uh, bland. So I try to make it black to match my UI, dark. So you go to settings here, you have a button on the bag and then you can, uh, let me close the other ones first. You can go to frame settings. If you want the sort button, I don't want the sort button. As I said, I do it by um, hand. Uh, you can scale the items inside, you can highlight them, but there we go to the background color. So on the background color, I just use uh, black, dark, and on the border color, color, I use just black, dark, and that's it. It looks, uh, it's simple as that. And this beauty, you can even access it from, uh, you can even access the bank from uh, outdoors. Now my add-on hasn't been updated for a while and I did not, but I think after this video, I'm gonna update it. This is one of the add-ons that I didn't update. Uh, let me show you my add-ons, uh, Bagnon. So this one I haven't updated because um, there's an issue where it shows like uh, key rings, but I think with the latest update, it should be up to date. I'm going to update it after this video. I like this add-on so much. It helps me keep things organized. And uh, I have more things than my mage, of course, and my other alts, but uh, this is a great add-on. And I'm pretty sure there are other add-ons for bags, but what I like about this one is that I'm able to make it uh, the same theme with my whole UI. And uh, I think it's a great add-on. So it's basically Bagnon, and it comes with a package for bank, for uh, the ability to see the bank from uh, being away from uh, the main cities. So this is one of them. Let's move to the next add-on. Now for the next add-on, I want to talk about a timer add-on. It's called uh, Nug Running, and it's a very useful add-on for uh, every class, both, both for PvP and PvP. So basically what this add-on does, it shows you lines or whatever you put them on the screen uh, with the cooldowns remaining for uh, items, for spells. You go to interface options after you install the Nug Running. You go to Nug Running here. And um, let's go to general and unlock to see, to show you how uh, it's laid out for me. So basically, it's right here. And whenever I use a spell, such as uh, let's say Fireball, and I get a crit and I get an Ignite, that means that I will uh, see the duration of the Ignite here. Also, I would see the tick of the Ignite, the value. Now, if I'm uh, playing a rogue, for example, and I'm using sprint, you can see the duration here in a bar, which I think it's really nice. I used to have a, a similar add-on when I was playing on um, the unofficial servers, um, and it was really nice. Now I found it. It has a lot of customization. You can choose spells that you want to see. You can choose spells that you don't want to see. You can drag it and move it and put it wherever you want. And I'm going to show it how it works in action. Uh, as soon as I get to the princess. We're gonna do a quick princess runs because we're gonna talk about the next add-on here too, which uh, I really like. Um, going back to the options, I wanna lock it on. And there we go. Let's lock it. So uh, you have a, a spell list, which you can remove or add spells if you don't want to see that cooldown. Some of them are probably not important, but the beauty of it that is that you can see something even like uh, clear casting or um, stuff like that. Now you have a, an option to increase the side, the width, the height, uh, the, the bar shape, how it looks, 
uh, unfortunately I didn't see an option to increase their color at least make it uh, with a, a black texture or something but probably the add-on will get updated in the future also you can change the fonts and uh, the name size and so on now uh, moving on to the next add-on this is not running and now we're moving to quartz which is a, a cast bar quartz 3 now if you're not playing a caster that doesn't mean you don't need to use quartz it does have uh, profiles for uh, a player or target you know and even for mobs uh, you can use let me actually show you how it works uh, you can see here you will see the cast bar that i'm using uh, here underneath the princess you will see the target cast bar and here above you will see the nug running add-on so uh, let's do a pull hopefully i won't wipe here live on uh... that's a beautiful proc from my uh, 8 out of 8 uh, set and as you can see this is my ignite 370 now I'm going to try to pop my trinket uh, she did a dust field and here on top you can probably see my scorches and you go my stacks and uh, the duration of the stacks now you can probably add from the settings an option to see it in seconds for my rogue for example it shows it in seconds uh, I need to do a crit to I'm gonna try to make her do the dust field. Uh, I don't want to lose this debuffs. Now, if you're looking, if you're looking for this add-on here, this is a different one where it shows the second. Uh, I don't know what I did there. I was explaining and I almost died. So, uh, try to kill it up. Now, you see this Caspar? This is from Quartz. Maybe I need to lower it a bit uh, because it interferes with my target or target or I can put it above but above I have the um, the debuffs maybe I can move the debuffs underneath and keep the cash bar on top I'm still working on how to set it up perfectly but you can set it up whatever you want maybe you have different unit frames maybe you have a uh, something else but um, yeah now, I cannot show you exactly the the full uh, talent but because I'm not using a lot of spells here. I am basically using three spells, but uh, it's a very useful talent, especially when you do it with the rogue, for example, uh, PV and you track your uh, sinister cooldowns, your adrenaline rush cooldowns and so on. Blade Flurry, they stack right there on top, like three, four of them, and it's very, very beautiful. No, I have already one. Uh... Let's move to the next one. So uh, Quartz and uh, Nug Running very useful add-ons both in pvp and pve and uh, last for today uh, the add-on called leatrix plus i kept it for last because i think it's one of the best add-ons i ever used into an mmo into a game it has so many options and you can do so many things with it uh, first of all you have the section for automation and here you can automate quest let's say you're for example in um Alterac Valley and you have to turn a lot of uh, scraps and so on you can just automate the quest and they will turn it uh, automatically for you or if you have Bijus uh, coins to turn in at Zandalar tribe that will work nice automatically accept summon accept resurrection release in PvP sell junk automatically now I don't really use the automation part because I really like to do them myself except sometimes I'm using the automate quest when I have to turn in a lot of things but some of you might be familiar wanting to use repair automatically which probably I should also let's keep this on or sell junk I like to sell the junk with my own hands moving on to social or maybe anti-social you can block duels you can block party invites you can block friend requests and uh, so on uh, you can also set up a, an option to invite from whispers if you click on this you get a wheel and um, you can only restrict it to guild members and friends and you can use a keywords like invite so when people whisper you invite or inv you, they get an automatic uh, invite i don't use this feature but if you're uh, making parties a lot of time uh, that will be nice now another option here is for the chat the chat has uh, for example the hide chat buttons you know so you can move the chat exactly to the edge of the screen I don't really have like having the chat buttons uh, on the side then you have the unclamp uh, 
chat frame uh, which will allow you to move it to the to the so those two options will allow you to move it and remove the buttons then I use uh, use class colors in the chat which is very beautiful you can see this one is a lock this one is a warrior uh, without shift clicking on them to check their actual uh, increased chat history and of course you have a lot of options here that are really nice for the chat uh, text I don't use here but you can resize mail text quest text book quest uh, hide error messages if you get any from the add-ons I don't get any errors from my add-ons so I don't use it and so on uh, interface here um, we have a variety of uh, things um, customized minimap I'm using a different minimap manage tooltip I'm using a different tooltip add-on but you can make them really really nice from here Enhanced dress up, uh, I think uh, I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna show you why. Because uh, whenever you're uh, trying to shift uh, click on an item to see how it looks, um, let's say um, this one, you have the option to nude, you know, so you don't have to remove your robe and so on. It's a really nice feature. You can also hide the tabard and so on. So uh, there's so many nice features there um, let's go back to the Leatrix plus add-on enhanced quest log um, right now my quest log is like this if I press enhance quest log it makes it extended and way easier um, this is especially great for leveling characters look at this it's beautiful you can see all the quests and lines and then you can see the things on the side enhance quest log it's beautiful to have I'm not sure exactly why my options are not checked because I used to have them checked but uh, I had a crash in my WTF folder uh, went missing and I had to reinstall all the add-ons. Enhanced professions, this is nice also. And uh, show volume slider, show auction controls, show cooldowns. I have a different add-on for most of those. Show durability status. And there's so many, so many things. Um, show wow headlings if you want. But moving on to the next good part, it's the option. You have an option to hide the griffins. So basically you hide the griffins from here. You don't longer need to use a macro. They take spot in the interface that they don't need. Uh, you can hide the stance bar if you want, if you have macros for them, so it clears a bit the, the top. Uh, manage frames. Now, here you have a, a variety of options. It's like a move anything, right? So here you can move the buffs and increase their size by dragging it from a, a corner. I think you need shift. No. Oh, no, you need scale. So you select one and then you scale, you see? And you can make the buffs uh, bigger. Although, how much did I have them? That was perfect. I think 135 probably. Yeah, let's keep that 135. And you can move them around. You can move your uh, character targets, uh, player targets, widget timer, and so on. Uh, going back to main menu, class colored frames. Do you see as my mage is blue, my um, uh, rogue is yellow. This is what class colored frames those. Uh, class icon portraits you can change uh, this one then you have the show player chain and this you can change this one to rare you can change this one to elite or you can change this one to rare elite uh, which one is the best you think uh, elite uh, let's put rare elite right it does look a bit more chunky more okay back to main menu um, system here in system you have a max camera zoom and i think i need to be outside to show you this but look at this <laughs> well there's a command to use it but oh my god let me let me show you how <laughs> i i can see the whole western plague lands <laughs> um disable green screen glow this is interesting because it will make your um classic game look better to the eye now, I already use this command manually, so I'm not sure if I should click it. I always use this manually. Uh, disable screen effects, of course. Uh, weather density. So, set weather density if you want to do it. I already did, did those three manually without having the add-on, but here you can have them by a simple click. Um, disable loot warnings. This is when you loot something, for example, like, uh, let's say... A dark rune in a DM which are bind on pick up so you don't have to are you sure you want to loot this message you know uh, faster auto loot which is uh, like another like speedy auto loot cancels the loot animation so you can loot mobs faster 
move, faster movie skip. Uh, you you can cancel cinematics without uh, waiting that much. And standards this mount, what does this does do is whenever you're on a mount, you know that um, you have to right click the mount there. Here you just have to press the spell and you're dismounted. It's really nice. It's really uh, some people choose to make macros for that, but there's an add-on that can do that. And of course you have show vendor price, but I do have vendor price from my uh, other um, add-ons. Now, uh, this is the seven add-ons that I think are quite essential for uh, Classic WoW. I think that will increase the quality of your grind, the quality of your gameplay, your organizing skills and so on, your uh, even your skill in PvP and PvE as uh, cooldown tracking. It's something huge in that domain. Thank you very much for watching this, guys. Let me know if you want me to cover add other add-ons that are like this. Uh, I chose this one because those ones are helping me to make gold are helping me to keep my inventory organized are helping me to track my cooldowns to fight my enemies and to do great dps and raids until next time stay frosty